Hey, this is Phil. Thank you for staying tuned with Saturday Morning Gaming. This is Oxen Free Part 2. Check it out. Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. Didn't you hear me calling for you? Jesus, you scared me. What are you even doing? I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here, but... You know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. No, it's... Uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. Maybe it is someone. You ever think of that? Maybe it's the crazy guy who lives here and he's gonna eat out our stomachs. <laughs> well, where is he then? In which of these tiny air holes does he hibernate? <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you... Might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Did you stop? Come on, come on, come on. No, where? It's like in the the air, right there. It, it must be like a like a rainbow or like a reflection of light. Those um exist, right? Um, cave triangle rainbows. Uh, maybe. Until last week, I hadn't heard about parrotfish either. So I guess anything's possible. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Really? You think? Definitely. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. 
Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Hey, look! An armoire! Oh my god, who cares? You were just making lasers in the sky, Alex. Let's get back to that. I guess it's locked. Yeah, zippity doo -da. Let's do it. Come on. Radio. Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. This, uh, cave wall is kinda... interesting, right? Not as interesting as that light beam thing you were making out of thin air, but sure. a very good question. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever, like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just... I don't know. This is kind of exciting, right? Exciting? Alex, we don't... To think something's exciting, you kind of have to know what that something is first. And we just got crapped out of the laser light show from hell, so... I'm not sure this qualifies as, like, something good. Oh, come on. Are you scared? Is that it? You scared? Yeah, I'm scared. So far... Pardon Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> that would explain why I remember it. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So, if it is, the time to. Christ, I'm as freaked out as you are, Jonas, alright? I have a splitting headache and, like, I feel like my fingernails are gonna shoot out of my hands. Mine too. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Wait, Jonas, seriously, like, what just happened? My radio, I guess, opened something, and that something did something else. And that something was really friggin' scary and horrible, so let's just skip to the part where we get off the island and start suppressing it in therapy. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? 
They're just being lame. I can hear Ren now. Let's go to the fort and throw rocks at walls. Great. Hmm. The cleaning guy should probably lock this before he leaves. His stupidity is our gain. How does this thing... Is... um... Is anyone there? It's... um... Dead. Did you get anyone? I think someone was there, but... I don't know. Warning, do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. Thanks, I guess. Fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Come on, don't you trust me? The light turned off. I trust you to, like, not hurt me on purpose or anything, but, you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. <sighs> there's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nada. Jesus! Communications tower? Alex? Alex? When? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ! Thank Vishnu! I... You guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff... I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I... I saw the light on in the, uh... The tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> Still funny. Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like like just the worst thing ever. Just Ren, are you alright? Like physically alright, because I know mentally you're no, probably. I'm not alright. I mean, do I sound alright or do I sound not alright? I probably sound not alright, right? Wait, I, I I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something, or they do like- Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick. Seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alex? Why are you answering it? This- It says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And Jonas is with you, of course. Okay, look, Clarissa. Ren's on the other line and sounding like he's about a stub toe away from a total collapse, so if you're at least holding it together, Wait, wait, then... wait, I- I'm at Fort Milner, and I can't... I don't remember, like, the last hour, and it's, like, really scaring the crap out of me. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys... Yeah, sure. We'll be over there in a minute. Okay, just hurry, okay? There's, like... I don't know. I'm hearing stuff outside. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Ren, are you still there? Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. You told Clarissa we're coming, so want to truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Uh, yeah. If we can connect to the mainland and get somebody over here, we should do it as soon as we can. My thoughts exactly. All right, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. Yeah, righteous.
How are you, uh, doing? I'm fine, I guess. Well, why? Just checking, you know? Okay. How are Huh? What is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded sort of scared. Like in dire straits, actual trouble right now scared? Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition of trouble there is, so... Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? Photography prohibited. That is a very serious sign. Restricted, keep out. Now well, they're not messing around. Does the fi Yeah, that sign's old. Like, back when we were fighting Nazis old. Still, it's a little disconcerting. I'm... Be one of them damn booby traps. That light. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. Time. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? All right, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird... Wait, seriously? Doors that open themselves have been, like, a really bad thing in my experience. Oh, really? Even automatic doors, like in supermarkets? Well, I got my elbow pinched in one of those one time, so yes, even those. And I'm sure it was traumatizing, but we gotta go anyway. Sorry. No, 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 no. Don't be locked. Come on. Well, we didn't really need to go back anyway, right? Unless there's no way out, then yes, we might have. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? It really wasn't. I mean, yeah, it was like for a few months, but, you know, that's nine weeks in the scheme of things. I've had rashes that lasted longer. I mean, uh, can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kind of, I don't know, kind of morbid. But really, was Michael the type of guy that would go for someone like Clarissa? But really, was Michael the type of guy that would go for someone like... Well, you know, you'd have to ask him what he was... It's got a padlock. You can't pick this one, can you? No. We'd need, like, bolt cutters or something. Or the code. But what do you think Mike saw in Clarissa? Really? Other than, I guess, the obvious. Look, Jonas. Hey, that's... Clarissa! Don't just leave me here, Jonas! Wait! Jonas, why do you always run off first? It's not a race. Jonas, are you okay in there? Test 
Testing, testing. Um, okay. I can't... I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then, second of all, I can't get out. Just put your back into it. Be a man. Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What, what is... I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird lock here. Does anything out there explain what this is? Okay, what just happened? Because that... that sucked. It's a... I guess a... One-way lock? I just wish one thing would work here like anything works out in the real world. Is this what you were talking to me on? Yep. Old girl did the trick. You think maybe, uh, Clarissa was using this before? You know, to call us and everything? It was locked, remember? How could she have gotten in? Same way I did. But then I don't really know how she could have gotten out. Oh, here's the code for the, uh, for the padlock. 3418. It's on a list of... Huh. They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I... Did, did you see that? In... in the mirror? The reflection... was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like... It seems alright now. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't anything. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. It didn't happen, so let's just carry on. Awesome, scary, and awesome. All right, that was Oxen Free Part 2. Stay tuned for more on Saturday Morning Gaming. Remember to buy the game on Steam.